up? It's Brianna. So today we're going to be testing out the brand new ColourPop Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collaboration. And I'm just going to say before we start this video, you want to grab yourself a hot chocolate and a candy cane because this collection is absolutely massive. Like we have a ton of things to try out today. And I do believe that they did send me the full collection. I mean, I even got the ears, which I mean, like look how cute this packaging is. Like they really just outdid themselves with it. But if you haven't seen this collection yet, like prepare yourself because it is so freaking cute. Like the packaging alone is absolutely adorable and just getting me ready for the holidays. I mean, just look at this cute little palette. Like, oh, like I am obsessed with it. And also, I mean, this color story, this is literally the first red and green holiday palette I have seen where red and green actually go well together. So in this collection, there are other items as well. Like we have this cute little lippy scrub and lip mask, and these are actually like ornaments. So you can like hang them on your tree or like use them as stocking stuffers, which I think is really cool. We have this um, Mega Mood Melt Cool Mint Bath Soap. I've never used something like this before, but it looks really cool. And again, the packaging is super stinking cute. We also have these uh, Lux Gloss Trio. Again, the shades of these are really nice too. We have a Soul Body Face and Body Highlighter. And then lastly, we have some Lip Duos. So off camera, I did prime my eyes using my ABH eye primer, but honestly, like this is the first red and green holiday palette I have seen where the colors actually make me feel like I can do a red and green look comfortably without it looking muddy. Because sometimes like a red and green holiday palette, like the vibrancy of the red and the green just don't really go well together. So it's like you can either do a green look or a red look, but you know, together they don't really make sense. But with this one, I feel like I can do it. So we're going to try it out today. And also, one thing I really appreciate about this palette is that you get a good amount of cool tones in here as well as warm tones. Like, you can just do so much with this color story. Like, even though it's a holiday palette, like, I feel like I could do a lot of different kinds of looks with it, if you know what I mean. But the first shade I want to go in with is this kind of like grayish, kind of like taupey kind of color. And this one's called Mush Mush. And I'm just going to be taking this shade on this brush from ColourPop. This is a E22. And I'm just going to be popping this shade in my crease to act as our transition shade today. Ooh, that's really cute right away. I do want to do a second layer though. Yeah, this one definitely has a little bit more of a buildable formula to it. But sometimes like gray eyeshadows or like taupes, they kind of have like an uneven formula to them for some reason. Like they can just kind of look a little bit patchy on the eye. And this one so far is looking really nice. I do want to do a third layer though. Yeah, this one's definitely very buildable. Like if you want to look like it does in the pan, I would definitely do about three layers. So when I was doing the other eye off camera, I kind of noticed that this is kind of like a taupe, like a grayish taupe that has just a slight amount of like a lavender hue to it. It's just a very different kind of neutral shade. But the next shade I want to go in with is the green in the palette, and this one's called Christmassy Time. And again, for a green, it's kind of like almost like a forest green. Like it's not like a super like vibrant kind of green. But I'm just going to be taking it on this blending brush from Anastasia. This is an A25. I guess let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, that, that is green. <laughs> Again, it's not like a super bright green. It's definitely more of like a neutral, like, like what I said, like kind of almost like a forest green. But let's go in with a second layer right away. Yeah, this shade's a little bit on the buildable side as well. It is a little bit more pigmented right away, but that could be because it is a deeper shade. I'm also going to round out the outer V just a little bit too. Let's go in with a third layer. Yeah, again, like this shade is very, very buildable. So if you're a beginner and you're a little bit scared of like deeper shades, especially ones like this, I think you're going to really enjoy the buildable formula. And also this shade does not give like any harsh lines or chunkiness. Like you can see, it's giving me a really nice smooth blend. Okay, this might be a little bit weird, but I want to go in with this brown right next to the green called Gazooks. Gazooks. Honestly, like, I am so bad at, like, quoting movies and whatnot because I don't really watch a lot of movies. Like, there's, like, movies I like, but I'm not, like, into movies. You know what I mean? But I'm going to see if this can, like, deepen up the green just a little bit. So when we go in with the red, we have kind of, like, something to mash it into a little bit better. Because, you know, green and, green and red don't mix. But I'm just going to be taking this shade on this Morphe M507. It's just like a teeny tiny little blending brush. I just want like a hint of brown in the crease to try to break up the green a little bit so I can go in with the red. 
you know, honestly, like, those actually go well together. I wasn't sure if this brown was going to be slightly lighter than the green. There's one thing I really wish that this palette had, though, is like a cool tone, like, chocolatey kind of brown. Like, something a little bit deeper than that Gazook shade for the cool tone side. Because for the warm tone side, we have this, like, reddish, brownish kind of shade called um, Ready Santa. This one in the corner right here. My finger was a little bit longer. I could show you a little bit better but that one. But man, like, this is a really nice brown. Again, this shade is a little bit more on the buildable side. So like, I'm on my third layer right now and you can see, like to get it to look like it does in the pan, you definitely have to build these ones up. So I just cut my crease off camera, but I'm just gonna take that Christmassy time shade and good zooks and do like a one to one ratio and mix it onto this little uh, Anastasia A3. It's like a flat shader that's almost kind of like fluffy at the same time. But what I'm going to do is just pack it onto that edge. Just to help get rid of that chunky harsh line that we have going on from the cut crease. So now let's start working on the lid and the shade I'm gonna go in with is the red in here, the red shimmer. And this one's called Handsome Nose. And I will say it's not like a true red either. It's more of like, okay, if you like mix a red in with like a brown shimmer, that's what this one is. Like it's not like a true like really bright red. It's definitely more of like a wearable, kind of like rusty kind of red. And I'm just going to be applying this baby dry. Ooh, I was not expecting that. But you see what I mean? Like it's not like a true red, but it also kind of has a lot of vibrancy to it. Now, I don't know if it's gonna go well into that green or not. Cause like in the pan, it looks a little bit more brown than when applied. But you know what? We'll figure this out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more. And it's more of like a wet metallic kind of shimmer too. It's not like a glittery kind. You see what I mean? Like it has like a little bit of vibrancy to it, but it's also not like pound your face red either. But I'm just gonna take whatever is left on my brush and kind of like tap it into that green. And let's just hope that it blends into it. So for the rest of the lid, I want to go in with this shimmer shade right here called Misfit Toys. And it's a very interesting shade because it's kind of like a pinky taupe kind of color with like lavender kind of like reflex to it. I don't know. It's just a very unique shade. And I'm just going to be taking this again dry on a little shader brush. This one is different though. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, that's applying a lot more icy than I was expecting. I don't know, I just wanted to play around with it a little bit. Because I didn't want to do like a full like red lid. And I didn't really feel like doing gold because I mean, that's just kind of typical. So I want to try something a little bit different. But I'll be honest, like this shade just isn't like super, super sparkly. It's definitely like almost, if you mix like a wearable shimmer in with a satin, that's kind of what this one looks like on the first layer. But let's do a second. Yeah, so the second layer is a little bit more popping. And I'm just taking whatever is left and going right into the red. And since I don't want to lose that red shimmer, I'm just going to go back in with the brush that we applied it with, with nothing additional. And I'm just going to tap out the edge and kind of bring it in a little bit further. Actually, I need to go in with a little bit more red. And when doing that, you can kind of see like I'm popping it down where most of the red is first. And then I'm just feathering the rest into the edge. This will help give you a little bit more control right away too. I'm just going to go back with that brush that we applied Misfit Toys with. Again, no additional. And tap it. So I just applied my face off camera, but I mean, just look how cute these little ornaments are. Like these would be the cutest like little stocking stuffer or on like a little mini tree, you know, next to the stockings. Like, oh, like I think that'd be so cute. But with these, these are both from 4th Ray Beauty. And this first one is a lip mask. I did take them out of the packaging. So this is what they look like. So let's go in with the Rudolph lip scrub first. I mean, just look how cute that is. Like, oh. Let's see what it smells like. I accidentally smelled the plastic. That ain't gonna get me far. Ooh, it's kind of like peppermint. It's like, it's like a candy cane, but with like a hint of vanilla to it. And I'm just gonna take my finger and take a little bit. My lips are looking crusty, so this is perfect. Ooh, that even tastes good. 
Oh, I like these lip scrubs. Truly the only lip scrub I like is the Fourth Ray Beauty one because it's not super harsh, but it gets the job done too. Like it's not like super crazy gritty where I feel like I'm using like sandpaper on my lips. But at the same time I can feel like the crystals, you know, taking away the nastiness. And also it's very hydrating. It kind of has like a different texture to it too. It's almost like whipped in a way, but it's not whipped. Like it just has like this light like buttery kind of feel to it. But I have really sensitive skin and lips because I have really bad eczema. And this one does not irritate my lips. Like normally like lip scrubs are just too harsh for me. But this one is like the perfect consistency where it does not bother me at all. And then let's go in with the Charisse Lip Mask. Again, this is an overnight lip treatment, but we're just going to try it out anyways. Ooh. Yeah, this kind of has like a... A lighter, almost like, yeah, it's kind of like a candy cane scent. Ooh, that feels really nice. If you've ever used a Laneige lip mask, it kind of has that consistency, but it's not as thick as that one. But I do want to go in with the lip duos first. I'm not too sure if I want to do the nude or the red, but again, like, just look how freaking cute this packaging is. Like, oh. like, they just keep on outdoing themselves with it. You can just see, like, there's so much detail to them as well. So this first one is the I Think You're Cute Lip Duo, and I mean, just look at how cool this packaging is, like the little snowflakes as well as the red, kind of like clear with glitter packaging for the lipstick. I mean, I'm just really into that. Like, that is so fun. But let's see how this swatches. Honestly, like, I use their lippy pencils almost every single day. Like, this is one of my favorite lip pencil formulas. So that is this. I'll show you what they look like up close in a second. And then here is the Lux lipstick and Clarisse is a creme. Ooh, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like little snowflakes on the side. Like, again, very, very holiday. And it also kind of has like that typical Lux lipstick kind of scent. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very, it's like sweet, but it's not too sweet either. It's not overpowering by no means. Oh yeah, now that is my kind of color. Like this is like an everyday kind of color for me. And also I like that the duos have a lip liner as well as a Lux lipstick because personally when I wear a lipstick like this, I always go in with the lip liner first. That's in a shade either slightly darker or the same color. And I don't know, I just think that's really cool that they do that. So now the other duo is called There's Always Tomorrow. And this is the Rudolph Lippy Pencil. Ooh, okay, I actually really like that. Normally I'm not really into red, but this one's kind of like, almost like a berry red. Like it's a darker red with like a hint of berry to it. And then again, the packaging of the Lux lipstick is the same, and this one is also a creme formula. Ooh, mine got a little banged up, but it also has little snowflakes as well. Ooh. You can see, like, it's a red, but it just has that, like, slight hint of berry to it. And then this is what they look like up close. I really want to go in with the red, but honestly, like, with the red and green eyeshadow look that we have going on, I don't want to take away from it. I want this to be the focal point, so we're just going to go in with the I Think You're Cute lip duo. So I'm just going to go in with the Clarice lip pencil first. Oh, yeah. Now this is a nice lip liner. If you've never used ColourPop lippy pencils before, like you're missing out. They're one of my favorite, honestly, I'd say my favorite lip pencil formula. Like they just have so many shades to choose from. They're not like super creamy and they're not dry either. They're right where you want them to be, where you can get a nice lip line. And they're also very, very pigmented. I will say it is a little bit more cool tone than I expected, this lippy pencil, but I feel like it really plays up this Misfit toy shade that we used on the lid. Like, I don't know, I feel like it just kind of like tied it together. But let's go in with the Lux lipstick. Again, I really like these. And oh, it smells so good. It kind of smells like a baked good, but also like a lipstick at the same time. Ooh, that is nice. And if you've never used the creme formula of the Lux lipsticks, it's not like super, super creamy where it's gonna like get on your teeth and slip and slide. It just feels like a hydrating kind of lipstick. So before doing the gloss and whatnot, I do wanna finish up the lower lash line. Like I feel like it looks so weird until I get my lower lash line done. But the shades I'm gonna go in with is that green and then the brown and mix the two together. 
I'm doing like a one to one ratio. And I'm just taking this little mixture on this ColourPop E29, which is just a teeny tiny little shader brush. And I'm popping this as close as I can to where my lashes grow out. I guess technically I am bringing it down a little bit further. I'm just trying to match what we did on the top to the lower lash line. And now I'm just gonna go in with the green by itself on this Profusion ES6 brush. It's just like a small little fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna smoke that down even further. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this is gonna work for an inner corner highlight or if it's a little bit too gold, but you know what, we're gonna try it out anyways. And that is using this lighter, kind of like icy shade called North Pole. Now the reason I don't know if it's gonna work is because our lid is very like icy white and this is kind of like yellowy champagne in the pan. But we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. And again, I'm just applying it dry using a pencil brush. This is a Anastasia A14. And I'm just packing this baby down. You know, it actually applies a lot icier than it looks in the pan. Like in the pan, it kind of has like a gold vibe to it. But when packed down, it's more of like an icy champagne. Ooh, you know what? That actually goes really well together. So the other lip set that we have is the Couple of Misfits Luxe Gloss Trio. And again, the packaging is super cute. I actually really like the Luxe Glosses because they're not heavy on the lips by no means. And whew, these colors, though, are really fun. I really like this top one right here. And this one is Hermie. And it's kind of like this yellowy kind of color. You know, again, we'll do some swatches here in a second, but it's like a yellow. I don't know how to explain it. It's a really interesting shade for a gloss. And it kind of has like these pink reflex in it as well. Let's see how it smells. Ooh, it kind of has like a vanilla, like cake batter kind of scent. I'll be honest, I don't really see the sparkle in it. Just a very like subtle, finely milled shimmer. And I don't really see like this yellow kind of vibe either. It kind of has more of like a pinky kind of shimmer in person. I think with like my lighting and stuff, it's gonna look more sparkly because of how it's reflecting. But in person, it's not like crazy glittery. And then the next one we have is Misfit Elephant. And this is kind of like an orangey kind of shade that also has pink sparkle in it. Put this one right here in the middle. It almost looks like a rose gold. And then the last one that we have is this reddish pink one called Dolly. It's almost like a strawberry, like watermelon kind of shade. And let's see how it swatches. You see what I mean? Like these are really, really sheer. Like there's not a lot of pigment to them. We're gonna go in with this like icier color because I'm kind of curious to see how this goes on top of this lip combo. And again, this is Hermie. I'm just gonna pop a little bit here in the center. Yeah, like, honestly, like, I don't see any of the reflect at all. You see what I mean? Like, there is no shimmer when applied. It just looks like a clear gloss. And then the last thing that we have out of the collection is this Soul Body Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder. I'm assuming it's a highlighter as well, and that's how I'm gonna try it. Because, I mean, YOLO, but... I'm just going to take a little bit on this eyeshadow brush. I personally prefer to apply my highlighter this way. And I, I don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me or not. Cause I am literally the color of printer paper. Like I am pasty. And this one looks a little bit darker than I would normally go for. But we can always fix it, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to pop it on. Okay, it's really cute right away. Like it's not like super like metallic and like super glittery. Let's go in with a second layer. It almost kind of has like a pinky tinge to it. I don't see like a cast either. I'm really used to these Soul Body highlighters being like extra sparkly. But I like that this one's more of like a wet sheen. Metallic kind of vibe. Like, there's no glitter in this one by no means, but it definitely, if you do a couple of layers, it gets really metallic. I just put the hair clips in my hair, and they are just so cute and nice quality. Like, they're not slipping or sliding. Like, they're super secure. And keep in mind, I don't use hairspray or, like, tease my hair. Like, I just pop them right on top next to my bun, 
and I don't know, I think they're really adorable and they have a lot of details to them too. But I will say, I think this collection is really cute. My favorite item out of everything though is definitely the eyeshadow palette. Like if you're gonna get anything, I would definitely recommend this just because the packaging is really cute and just has like that full on Rudolph kind of vibe to it. But I will say like this to me is like a neutral palette with like a hint of color to it. It's not super bright. It's not very vibrant. It just kind of has like a little bit of like a colorful hue to it. So if you're somebody that likes more like neutral palettes and you want like a holiday palette that isn't like super bright and out there, I think you're going to really enjoy this one. And also I feel like this one would be a really good gift because of that too. Now I will say though the mattes in here, they're not super pigmented. Like you really have to do about three layers to get them to look like they do in the pan. Keep in mind they don't give any harsh lines or like patchiness, like they're a really nice smooth matte. It's just they have that buildable formula. So if you don't like building up your shades, you probably won't like the mattes in here. But again, I really am impressed with how they built up and again, I thought I got a really cool look with them. As for the shimmers, again, they're kind of like that wearable wet sheen kind of vibe. They're not like super glam and super metallic, like they just have like a pretty wet sheen kind of look. And I don't know, I think they're really cute, but if you're looking for more glam shimmers, you probably won't like the ones in here. The other item I really enjoy of the collection is the Cherie's Lip Duo. Like, I just really am impressed both with the liner as well as the lipstick. Like, they're just like so buttery and pigmented and also very comfortable on the lips. And also like this color is like an everyday color for me because it's kind of cool tone. It's kind of neutral. Like, I just feel like it would go with any kind of eye look. The only item out of the whole collection I'm a little bit meh about is the Luxe Gloss Trio because again the shade that we used today you can't see the sparkles in it like it just looks like a clear gloss and honestly like it's just a little bit sticky. I don't know I just prefer their lip oils over these but again like the colors are really cute like when you look at them in the packaging but when swatched and when applied they just don't have a lot of oomph to them. But yeah so in the comments down below let me know what you think about this look and also let me know if you're going to be picking up anything from this collection. But before you go though if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like and if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!